What a march. I'm going to re-estimate the number again because I think the AATS square is a bit, gives you a bit of an optical illusion because of, of its size. The march walking down Kweishu was three to four times longer than last week. <laughs> Unbelievable. The only strategy they have is to force you back into your home. It's wrong, it's undemocratic, and it's against free liberty. Yes. Locking down the country of a virus that now we know is not too dissimilar to the flu. Would we ever lock down the country for the flu? No. Absolutely not. But that is what's happening here. They don't want you to listen to anyone else talking about this issue. They expect you just to listen to what he was said to you at the one o'clock press conferences. But in a democracy, you ask the hard questions because it's your country, it's your future, and it's our children's future. And that's why we're here. What we have seen since 2017 is a government who is no less eroding our very rights and our values and our freedoms, removing it away policy by policy by policy. And COVID is only the latest opportunistic grab that they have. From the very start, Andrew Little has been speaking to the UN about changing the Human Rights Act. We have him on quote saying that. We have policies and dictates from this government. And what they're doing is they're removing our rights. The abortion law. Our rights and our voices were taken from us. The firearms debacle. Yes. Our rights and our voices were taken away from us. Yeah. Taken in place. And what they don't realize is that this is our nation. This yes. is ours. Yeah. Yeah. This is yeah. The United Nations does not rule here. Yeah. We rule yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. We fight yeah. every day. The sacrifices of our fathers and grandfathers are in our blood. Yeah. Poured out in places like Gallipoli, yeah. places like Chinook Bear. Yeah. We yeah. must remember the honor and the sacrifices of our brothers who are dead over there. Yeah. Yeah. And we do not lose it here. Yeah. We are sovereign, we are free. <laughs> on stress levels and mental health issues. I am honored to wear my paint covered clothes and to march alongside you against these lockdowns. Yeah. And I am damn proud to stand alongside you as we make it very clear that we stand for unity and liberty. We stand for freedom. Yeah. Because last week on the march, a member of the police came up to me and said, here's a yellow jacket, a yellow vest, I want you to wear it. 
I said, why? He said, you're a target. And I said, yeah, I'm a target for you. And that's what we've come to. You know, pretty bloody shameful, isn't it? So we're we know that unemployment is increasing, which means we're going to have a lot more beneficiaries who are easy to control. Do this or we'll dock your benefit. Think about that. Law is in your heart, right? Gravity is the law. It's the real law. Nobody can regulate it, control it, isn't it? Right? Now, please act locally. Make sure you keep the love and win your neighbors. We need unity, right? And the unity, we have to have the agreement. We cannot make fun of each other. Call them shippo or whatever. Yes? No more judgments. No more divisions. No more distraction. Yes? No more distraction. Always remember. One voice, one sound, one movement to move mountains, to open the rivers, to reach to the deepest valleys, to stand up for who we are. To stand up for who you are. To stand together as one under your united voice. There are so many opinions. There are so many ins. There are so many things that are going on around us. For a space and time, let us lead the charge at the kaitiaki of our whenua. Let us lead the charge against the tyranny that is upon our land. The poison. The poison that is in the land, the poison that is in the air, this invisible enemy that they say is there. God is the creator. God is the beginning. He is the end of all things. I stand here as a warrior for him. I stand here as a servant for Jesus Christ. I stand here together. And I say that with respect. I say that with respect and humility. I respect everybody's views, everybody's entity, everybody has their space. Yes. But to come together as one, as a united voice, oh, is yeah. what this is about. Yeah, is right. exactly what this is about. So I give praise and glory to the King of Kings. Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem. <laughs> Oh, wow. 